Hello guys and welcome to my channel, SW Adventures. Now today, me and my dad are going to be working on this 1996 Grand Cherokee Laredo. Um, today, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to figure out what we need um, to get it running. Um, because, um, as you can see, both the front and the rear tires are flat on this side. The other side are perfectly fine, but I think today... We're going to get the transfer case back in it. We're going to um, get the interior where the seats are back, bolted back down and then the back seats are in it, bolted down, but I think we might fold them down and put the other stuff that's back there because my brother actually um, had, a, had this one. He's the one that bought this. And then he bought a, another 1996 Grand Cherokee that was a lot nicer um, than the one that he's, or than this one. that actually ran and drove for a good while. Um, and then he, uh, and he used this Jeep for a parts vehicle. Um, and yeah, then he uh, gave it to my dad because my dad, my mom and dad actually helped him buy the vehicle that is behind you guys, um, a 2012 uh, Grand Cherokee Laredo, I think. Um, and so, yeah, so this one's got all of his parts in it. Um, I know that, like, back here in the back, if you guys can see him, no, I can't, but is the stock suspension and everything for his other Jeep, because he did put a four-inch lift on his other one, I think. Um, but what me and my dad are going to do is we're going to fix this thing up um, and uh, maybe get it running today. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, there are a couple parts that we will have to probably go to pick and pull for. Well, my dad will have to go to pick and pull for. Um, um, so, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you guys up back there um, and start taking things out. Um, I do have to be careful around this car because there are uh, wasp um, last night I think we were playing around it and you know like seeing where the wasp were at and in the driver mirror and on the driver's side in the door crack for the back hatch has a pretty big nest um, we can't get to the other ones and we can't like take it down or get it out of there um, I mean, I think we might be able to if we took out the mirror, but I think we'll worry about that another time. Um, I did come out here earlier uh, just to make sure that all the wasps were gone, and there were a few. I think they may have hatched because there's like seven dead wasps underneath that car, <laughs> under the back of that car, and, um, and then there was still like three or four flying around, and I soaked them in it yesterday. Um, I think you guys can hear me better now. Our air conditioner is going. Um, but yeah, so we're going to, uh, I'm going to get to work on it. I'm going to, pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull everything out of it and then, uh, start putting the things that are supposed to go in there back in it. Um, and then after that, we don't really have much space to put, oh, oh, one right there, I think that might be a dirt dauber, but there's something flying around there, um, ooh, I was trying to attack me, um, but yeah, so we're going to, uh, I'm going to start pulling things out of here, um, we've got a spare mirror for it down in there, um, We've got to get a new passenger fender because that one, um, I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if they just like hit something or if they got into an accident, but that is bent. It's got a pretty good dent there. I'll show you guys that later. Um, and uh, yeah, but we're going to get it running and driving. Um, maybe not in this video, so there might be, um, this might be just like a build series. This might be a series on this. Um, so uh yeah, but I think what we're going to do is we've got some, we've got the stock wheels that came on my brother's other Jeep in the backyard that I think we're going to use. Um, I think we're going to air up these to get a jack underneath it. Um, we might be able to get a jack underneath it now, but I think 
for right now we can air it air up the tires um, and then get the other tires on it so they're because those actually hold air these don't really so um, we're I'm gonna get to work to that or on that and uh, yeah let's get to it of here um so we're gonna start putting the interior, interior back together i think what i might do is i might grab a piece of towel grab that right there um and then i think i might just like get some of the other various things that are around here but uh ooh, there's rat poop in there mm, we'll close that 
leave that to the rats. Um, but yeah, it's actually starting to look like a vehicle in here instead of just a pile of absolutely nothing. Um, so yeah, we got all of the seats out as you can see right there. I got my tripods, but uh, as you can see, we got both this or all of the seats out. But um, as you can see, this is the seat that I don't think came in it, and then these are the back seats that came in it. So, I mean, they all have like the same print, but I don't know. I think these might be the match, but this one also seems like the match because like you can see on that one, it's got that dark stuff on it, and this one's got the dark on it, but I don't know. Maybe those are just faded. I don't know. We'll have to see, um, but I'm gonna start like placing the car, or, like the seats back in there because I don't know if because my brother was working on this and he had like this entire car taken apart um, and he had this bin of bolts and I don't know if these are to the seats or what they're to. So we'll set those there. Um, let my dad get out here. Um, Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think those wasps are happy. Um, but yeah, so anyways. Here, maybe I can the wasp nest just a little bit better. Yeah, it's a pretty big one. So, um, yeah, we're gonna deal with that. There was one here, um, but it's old. We already took that one out before it got too bad. Um, but yeah, so... I got this thing pretty much cleaned out. Um, I'm gonna put the seats back in it, and then, um, dude, I keep hearing them buzzing. I can't tell if that's a dirt dauber that's flying away, like flying around, because I have seen a dirt dauber that has been flying around. Like when I was pulling out that seat, I think, or this one, um, there was one flying around checking out something over here. But um, yeah, so we got the fuel fuel tank out because um, it was. We originally took it out, and then that's the box with all the fuel pumps and stuff, or the fuel pump and everything. Um, we took it out so that we could um, work on it and see what's going on with it. Um, so, And then also in that box of stuff that's got the fuel pump in it, it's got just a whole bunch of other miscellaneous stuff in it. Um, so, yeah, but it is seriously starting to look like a car in here. Um the more and more I work on it. But I think I might grab that towel there and grab that little uh, piece there. And uh, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna set the seats in it, like where they're supposed to go, and then wait for my dad to get out here to uh, start working on the other stuff, so. I 
I now know what they are. They go right on the bracket right up there. On that piece. Oh, you can't see. That piece right there. And this is what bolts down and then the two prongs go through there and then the thing goes. I think I figured it out. I think I got it completely wrong. Okay, so we do have a full back seat. It's just I don't know how to put it back to you. That's the problem. Okay, so I got it now. Um, I'm going to do another hyperlapse of me um, getting these loosely put in and then getting the seats just put on top of awake and uh, see if we uh, can maybe get the rest of the stuff in here so uh, let's get into it all right so I don't know how much time we're working with here oh, that's not good um we're just gonna set that there so um I don't know how long this video is already um, but if it's already super long, I think we're going to end it off here, but, um, I think maybe next time, I'm going to get the seats in and, or get these backs in. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, my giant cicada. Oh, no, no, don't go this way. Oh, God. Where's it at? Where did it go? Let's hope that it didn't go in the car. I think it flew away. I don't know. Okay, so. I'm going to get the backs on the seats and uh, see where we're at with time after that. And uh, then we'll see if we have to go. All right, so as you can see, we got the backs in there. I didn't tight, I didn't put the bolts in it or anything. Um, so they're just kind of like loosely sitting there. Um, but I think for now, it's good. I think what we'll do is I'm going to hold the seats probably, hold the back seats, put everything back in it. I don't know. Um, because most of the things we don't really need to That'll probably be another episode or another video. So, yeah, so we'll end it off here. Um, well, I'm going to do my intro here. I think I might do one last uh, hyperlapse. Um, but thank you guys so much.